Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can create your own custom shader presets. Why? Because a scene like this, you spent a couple of minutes, maybe hours, to find the right mixture of textures and find you're satisfied with it. So why not use it in another scene as well, uh, or again? And to do so, you can use presets and you can save them. There are a couple of presets already built in in True Terrain, but as you can see, I have already made some my own. So just getting rid of that and bringing in another one, apply. You can see they're just coming in very nicely. So or like this. And here we go. So things I've done in the past are available to me in other scenes. And I'm going to share with you how very easy it is to create your own. So let's get rid of those and start. So of course we need to bring in a texture. And I want you all to be able to follow that, not use any custom or legacy textures. So when we're using that, we're going to Packs and Material 5 and start with maybe dark grass. I like to use 4K quality, but you can take any one you want. So let's bring that in, scale that up a bit so we can actually see something and play with the specular level. I like to my maps to be not shiny. So I'm, we're going to use four different maps because I like to mix two different ground textures and two for the cliff face or for the mountains. So we've got our grass in. Let's bring in another one. Let's go to packs five and Let's take the light rock over here. Okay, bring that in. Do the same thing, scale it up so we can actually see something. Some nice details over here. Maybe scale it, displace it a little bit and play with the specular level as you want. And now we're going to bring in a patch mask you can do whatever you want, but that's how I do it. And as you can see, this is a little bit too strong. So what I usually do is I'll go into preview mode, bring this down to zero and slowly 0.2 for the foreground is usually works best I have found. And then you can play with the seed over here, white being our gray, so we can take a look. We can actually play like this and you can see what it does. So when you have found the right amount, um, like this, okay. Let's go back to shader, bring in our first cliff texture. Let's go with dark rock 11, why not? Same thing again, scale it up so it looks good on the cliff. Don't worry about the foreground because we're going to bring back our ground. So something like this probably, and a little bit of displacement, not too much. And let's bring in a slope mask. So, and now you can see our ground is back and our cliff is at the front. That's exactly the opposite of what we want. So we can click on invert. I like to do this in preview mode and slowly increase the slope factor. So everything that is black will be our ground back again. So something like this. And let's see what we can get. That looks absolutely okay. And then we're going to bring in, for contrast, another 
rock material and let's take black rock one bring that in we've got the same thing bring this back down scale this up so it looks interesting so that's an a massive or a very in your face texture but we're going to mix this again with let's do a patch mask do the same thing as before like just we can go with 0.1 and just play with I'm just looking at the mountain faces there something like that's actually okay and then another slope mask because we want to get our ground back and that will work the other way around again so everything that is black will be our ground again so let's see if that actually works it does okay so let's go with this you can fine-tune scaling displacement whatever you want um, and especially important is for your final render but we're going to address this at the end because we haven't created a preset yet so what we're going to do next is we're going to create a group and we're calling this group custom shader two because i already made one <laughs> and then we're going to click all the materials in our scene click on the traverse groups button over here and select the custom shader o2 so when we go back to root all our materials are in this group and so last but not least we go to our preset window over here click on plus call this custom shader 2 we can leave the icon path for now so we say okay and as you can see there is a custom shader over here so to double check if this actually works we're going to delete this group nothing to see here going back take the sec custom shader 2 apply it and we have our custom shader over here so to make this actually work for a scene to bring in more details i recommend going to material settings give the displacement scale a notch up the details that i personally like to use is 2.5 and you can play with the detail step as much as you want however it only goes to one which is in most cases okay but you can overwrite that so let's put a five in here and you can see much more details coming up over here so last but not least we're going to render that and i have very deliberately taken resolution with the same height so it's a square and as soon as this is finished I'm going to save that and then link it as my icon which works very well I'm going to show you we're already finished image save as that is custom shader 2 save as image we can close this we're going back to our presets and going to edit back to our preset custom shader 2 accept okay and it's already in here so let's do that as well because i've made that before so apply the custom shader one thank you and we need to 
edit this with uh, um, interesting. No, no, no. I want this over here. Create a one. And it should be okay. So that's it. So custom shader two. Come in. And that's how you do your custom shader preset. I hope this was helpful to some of you. If you have any questions, pop over to our Discord server or write me in the comments. And you can also tell me what you want me to address next. Okay, thanks for your time. Thanks for the coffee, all of you who have, have taken this button. And um, see you at the next time. Thanks. Bye.